Good morning, everyone. It is Monday morning. We've got our 60-minute circuits class today. We've got a lot to cover today. We are going to get right into it. But before we do, make sure you have your dumbbells. Make sure you have an elastic TheraBand uh, available because we're going to need it a little later on throughout our circuit. Make sure you have water and hopefully you have a little smile on your face. <laughs> it's Monday. Let's get started. We're going to start right away with some marching and get ourselves warmed up. We're gonna take the next five minutes to warm our body up and then we're gonna get through into our circuit. Today we're gonna to go through three rounds. If you need a break during any of the sets or any of the exercises, make sure you honor your body's needs today and make sure that you make any adjustments that you need. I will be taking a look at the chat. If there's any questions, you can always put it in the chat and I will try and answer them. All right, let's take this in about 15 more seconds into a light jog. If you're not jogging today, don't feel worried about that. Just go ahead and continue with your marches. I'm super excited about today's class. I'm like, all right, we are going to get through three rounds. We're going to get through this one. <laughs> get it all done today. All right, let's take it into a jog. Here we go in three, two, one. Start that little jog here. I hope you all have a nice weekend. A little bit of funky weather out there, kind of sunny, kind of cold, kind of windy. I don't know, at least where I was, it was kind of all over the place. Looking like some really warm weather coming to us tomorrow. Good. All right, we're going to take this for another 30 seconds, and then we're going to land our feet, and we're going to go into some squats. For those of you who did... Friday's class with me. My inner thighs are only feeling better today. <laughs> Took two days. <laughs> so whatever we did on Friday, I think it was those side lunges, my inner thighs are saying, okay, we're good today. All right, we're going to slow it down in five, four, three, two, one. Land your feet right about hip distance apart. We're going to come right into some squats. Here we go. Down and up. Make sure we're putting some good pressure into the heels, lengthening through the spine, hinge from the hips. Good job. Maybe breathe in as you come down, exhale as you lift. Good job. Keep going. Beautiful. Good. Just kind of notice what's happening here. We're giving our joints a little bit of mobility here. Getting the joints nice and warmed up. Also warming up the muscles of the glutes and the quads and the hamstrings. Good job. we got 10 more seconds here. We're going to take it into another jog. <laughs> In four, three, two, one. Bring it up and jog it out. Good job. All right, we're going to pick up the tempo a little bit more on this jog, build a little bit more heat. Now, as we're going through our warm-up, make sure you're watching your breath here. Your breath starts to get too heavy, too hard, too quickly. I want you to slow it down just a little. I want this to feel like a little bit of a simmer here, just building that heat. All right, let's pick up that tempo just a little. Draw the heels up a little higher. If you're marching, bringing the knees up a little higher, maybe moving a bit more through the arms. Great job. Good, we're gonna go in here for another 10 more seconds. Another five, four, three, two, one, land your feet, extend the arms up overhead, drop the right, reach it over, lift the right, drop the left. And swim both arms out to a strong T. Start your arm circles. Here we go. Great. All right, stay here for about another 15 seconds. We're staying about a medium sized circle. Good. 10 more seconds, then we're going to reverse our direction. Beautiful. In five, four, three, Two, one, reverse opposite direction. Full range through the shoulders. 
If there's any pinching going on, maybe you want to take a break. Good, we've got 10 more seconds here. Beautiful. Good, last five, four, three, two, one, and rest your arms at the side, open them up nice and wide, externally rotate the feet so that you're coming into this nice sumo squat position. We're gonna reach and lift, reach and lift. As you're extending the arms, nice and energized through the arms, press down into the heels, kind of bring those legs in towards center without locking to the knees, good. Good, five more seconds here. We're gonna pick up the tempo to a one, two, one, two. In three, two, one, here we go. One, two, one, two, you got it. Again, just building up a little bit more here. Keep it going for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and march it out. Nice job, ladies. Thank you so much. All right, hopefully feeling a little warmed up, a little more ready to go into our first set. Now, let's go ahead and plant our feet. We're gonna start right away with a weighted arm and leg reach, back through center, arm and leg reach. Alternating sides are gonna need weights in both hands. If you're not doing this with weights today, you've got any shoulder issues, that's cool. Make sure you adjust to make it work for your body. So I'm actually gonna adjust my weight. So you don't have to go in too heavy, too hard. It's our first round. So remember, first round is like the learning phase. We'll use that as our learning phase and then make any adjustments on the subsequent rounds. So roll the shoulder blades back, open up through the chest. We're gonna hinge slightly from the hips, bend in from the knees. Here we go, three, two, one. Lift, back through center. Lift, back through center. Just take a moment here to get yourself ready. Get yourself set up, find your rhythm. Now gaze is kind of forward here. Energizing through the arms and the legs. Good. Fantastic, 20 seconds left. Good, a lot of core stabilization going on here. Really keep the core drawn in so you can watch that low back. Good, we've got five. Four, three, two, you got it, and one. Nice job, come back through center, march it off, good job. All right, we are gonna go ahead and grab our strap next, and we're gonna go into some band press outs. Gonna work a little bit of the posterior side of the shoulders. So starting here with your bands, kind of shoulder height, feet are hip distance apart, and we're gonna open, bring the shoulders together, and close, working the chest, front and back of the body. Here we go, three, two, one, open, and close. And try to just make this effort nice and equal through both sides. Now, what's really important is here, you've got this nice neutral wrist here. So just notice where my wrists are at, they're not popping up towards the sky, they're not down, they're not up, nice and neutral. Squeezing through the shoulder blades, bring it back through center. 15 seconds to go here. Great way to strengthen the back of the body. Also nice control through the chest area here. Good, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job, set your band off to the side. Well done. Next we're gonna be doing a three-way combo, front, back, and side lunge. We're gonna do this weighted. We're gonna grab a weight, hold it at our chin. We're just gonna hold it. We're not gonna do anything with regards to any bicep work or anything like that, but we are just gonna hold it here. So we're gonna start first with a front lunge with our right foot. We'll come back through center, go into a side lunge. Kick your bum out, back through center, take that right foot, step it back into a reverse lunge. I'm just gonna have to move my little altar over here. All right. So make sure you have space around you. Starting with your right foot, three, two, one. Front lunge, knee tracks over the ankle. Side lunge, bum kicks out. Back through center, reverse lunge. Kick it back, good job. Front lunge, back to base. Side lunge, 
back to base, reverse lunge, back to base, keep going. Now, if you're going at a different pace, don't worry about it. Find your own rhythm, that's the most important thing. Good. Good, we've got about 20, 20 odd seconds left. This does require a little bit of space around us. Good, we've got about seven seconds left here. Keep going. Last one, wherever you're at, let's finish it up. And back. Woo, nice job. Beautiful. Take our 15 seconds, and then let's get ready. We're going to go into the other side. Hopefully, you've got enough space around you. Now, if there's a lunge, sometimes front lunges can feel a little invasive on the knees. If it doesn't feel good, avoid it. Make sure it feels fluid. You're not forcing the movement, okay? Here we go, left leg forward. Three, two, one. Front lunge, back to base. Side lunge, nice and long, good job. Reverse lunge, that's it. Here we go, front lunge, that's it. Side lunge, and reverse lunge, can't do it to the wall. <laughs> and back, here we go, keep going, front side you've got it I gotta do a little twisty twist for that reverse lunge that's okay keep going nice job stay nice and tall through your upper body good make sure everything's tracking nicely as best as you can sometimes it's hard to see where our body is in space so we're just bringing that awareness to it good we've got about 10 seconds left here keep it going Woo! Good. You've got it. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Excellent. Well done. Beautiful. All right. Grab some water. Towel off. Do what you got to do. Next, we're going to go into some bicep curls to hammer curls. All right. So. We're going to be alternating between the two. So bicep curls, palms are wide. We'll go up, we'll come down, bring the palms in, hammer curl, lift, lower, open, lift and lower, and back through center. All right, here we go. Open up the chest, tall through the body. Three, two, one. Let's start with half bicep curl, lower, and hammer curl. Now feel free, go at your own pace. Maybe you need to go faster, maybe you need to go slower. Again, we're going through this round three times today. So whatever you need to modify for the next round, you know you've got some options. So maybe the weight you chose was a little too light or a little too heavy. Just know you've got time to try to switch things up a little bit. 15 seconds left, you've got it. Good. Excellent, we've got five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job, excellent. Great, give your arms a little shake. Next, we're gonna be going into our tricep kickbacks. We're gonna be doing this in the bent over position, and we're gonna be grabbing some weights here for that. So make sure you choose, again, something that feels comfortable, challenging, but we're not fighting for it. All right, hinge from the hips. Bend in from the knees, back is nice and long, shoulders are pulled back, elbows tucked in. Three, two, one, here we go. So plant your feet down, back is long, we're not swinging through the arms. As you extend your arms back, you're engaging through the triceps. Fantastic. 12 seconds to go. Last five, four, three, you got it, two, and one. Nice job, excellent job, beautiful. All right, take those weights, set them off to the side. Next, we are gonna come right down to the floor. We're gonna do a single leg bridge, gonna work the glutes. So let's go ahead, slowly make your way down to the floor. Now we're gonna do a minute. So we're gonna do 30 seconds on one leg, 30 seconds on the other. Now, single leg bridges, 
can be a little bit heavy. So if you're like, yeah, I'm not feeling that today. It doesn't feel good on my back. Do both legs. There's no pressure to do a single leg, uh, especially if you're kind of new to them. You could try it out, see how it feels. If it feels good, great. If it doesn't feel good, go ahead and place both feet down on the floor. So set yourself down on the floor, hands are resting at the sides. Feet are hip distance apart. We're going to start with our right leg lifted. Now what's really important here is when you're going to go into your, your single leg bridges, you're not tipping over to one side. Hip bones are facing up towards the sky nice and equally. So here we go. Energize through that right leg. Three, two, one, and we're on. Press into that left. Energize to the right. Now you're working the glutes here. Definitely the hamstrings as well. Beautiful. Core, work in the core to really make sure that you're nice and comfortable as you come back down. Good. We've got five, now we're gonna switch sides. Three, two, and one. Go ahead, set yourself down. Bring your right foot down, lift your left leg. Here we go. Now one side might feel really different to the other. That's why I like doing single sided work. Just such good feedback that we get from our body. Keep going. Good, we're almost there. Last seven, five, four, three, two, one and set your sacrum down bring your feet down to the floor and keep your knees bent great job everyone excellent so from here we're going to go right into our chest lifts or our crunches and then from here we're going to go right into our crunches with rotations we're going to do 45 and 45 bring your hands behind your head set your interlace your fingers so that your head is nice and heavy in your hands Start with your neutral spine, and here we go. 45 seconds. You're gonna take a real quick transition from here into our rotations. Keep the breath as fluid as possible here. Try not to hold your breathing. That's it, nice job. Beautiful. All right, we're almost there. Last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job, set yourself down, give your core a little break. Next, we're gonna go into lifts with the rotations. Knees are gonna remain bent, feet are gonna remain flat on the floor. You're looking for a little more, feel free to go ahead and raise your legs. If you're looking for even more, go ahead and invite your legs into extensions. It's up to you. Feet flat, here we go. Three, two, one, lift the head, rotate. Inhale, exhale. Keep yourself nice and glued to the ground. Make sure this is not coming from your neck. Feel that contraction in the obliques. That's it, excellent job, everyone. You look great, keep it going. Beautiful, almost there. Good, we've got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job, fantastic, excellent. Beautiful. All right, let's roll on to our side. We're gonna be doing a side plank next. Now side planks are not necessarily great for everyone, especially if those of you, us who have any sort of shoulder issues, we're gonna to want to avoid any sort of um, full weight bearing on the shoulders. So I'm gonna give you two options. Option number one is gonna be a supported side plank. Option number two is gonna be the full expression of the exercise. So you choose what works best for you. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and show you the supported plank first, side plank, and then I'm going to go into the full version. So first, supported plank, right out. In this case, I've got my right hip underneath my, above my right knee. My left leg is extended. Hand is on the floor. Nice and engagement through the core. Lift the arm up. Looking for a little more. Bring that leg up. It's going to add a little more intensity. We can be here. 
Option number two is to come down onto your elbow. Legs are stacked in front of one another or stacked on top of each other, and you're going into a elbow side plank. Option number three is going to be a little bit heavier, especially on your shoulders. So be careful that you're supported here. You're going into the full version with the arm extended and coming into your side plank here. We're going to be doing 30 on one side, 30 on the other. Choose your version. Let's get ready. Here we go. Three, two, one, and that's it. We're on. Breathe. Try not to hold your breath here. Try to energize through your hands. You've got some good support through the shoulder. Remember, there's a ton of weight in the shoulders here. You want to make sure they're safe. 12 seconds left, and then we're going to switch up the sides. Great. Seven, whoop, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead, make your way back through center, and then we're going to go ahead and do the other side. Rest the left hand underneath the shoulder. Extend the legs, however version you're doing. Three, two, one. Don't worry if your back is to me. Here we go. Open up. Breathe. Find a focal point ahead of you. Nice and strong. We got this. You look amazing. Come on, squeeze those inner thighs together. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Count with me. Five, four, three, two, one, and come back to your center. Nice job. Set yourself down on your heels. Give your back a nice little stretch. Well done. If you're new to those and you need to take little breaks between, that's absolutely a-okay. Remember, they're pretty tough. All right, the last one we're going to do is going to be swimmers. We do a little bit of posterior strengthening. We're going to lie down on our tummy. Now, again, if you've got shoulder issues and reaching your arms overhead feels a little too much on the shoulders, feel free to rest your hands at the sides. Now, as you lengthen onto the belly, onto the floor, just set yourself up here. I'm going to start off with a little kind of introduction to swimmers just to get some coordination. So if your arms are extended overhead, make sure it feels comfortable. The legs are going to extend out long, zip up through the inner thighs, reach through the crown. You're going to want to engage through the core and engage through the glutes. On your inhale, we're going to lift. Start with your right leg and left arm and lift. Then your right arm and left leg and lift. Left and right. Right and left, left and right, right and left. Keep going. Alternate sides, lifting and lowering, kind of sequentially. Keep your glutes and your abs engaged. Keep breathing. All right, now let's pick up our tempo in three, two, one. Here we go. Swim it out. Lift up through the chest. Keep the head kind of engaged with the rest of the spine. You're not popping your gaze up towards the sun. Keep going. 12, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Rest. Set your forehead down the floor. Nice job. Woo! All right, great job, everyone. Let's come up onto our hands and knees. Let's make our way into our downward dog. Curl your toes under, walk your feet hip distance apart. Here we go, walk your hands towards your feet. Make your way into your forward fold. Keep your knees bent if you want. Start to squeeze up through the glutes and the hamstrings, roll yourself up all the way up. Here we go, all the way to standing. Exhale, roll down. One vertebrae at a time, walk it out. Plank position, walk it back. Forward fold, roll it up. Keep going, roll it down. One at a time, walk it out, walk it back. Roll it up, hamstrings and glutes, pull the belly in. Lengthen your spine, three more, roll down. Walk it out, hold your plank, walk it back. Roll it through. Two more, you're almost there. Keep it going. 
Excellent. Find that long plank. You've got this, guys. Roll it up. Energize to your legs. If you read my newsletter, Carpe Diem is my theme of the week. Seize the day. Take this opportunity. See how it feels. You don't know till you try. Here we go. When you're ready, make your way all the way to standing. Shake it off. Nice job. Woo! Set number one done. All right. So this next set, we now kind of know what's going on. We know what we have ready for us to do. So we're going to really kind of move pretty sequentially through everything so we're not wasting any time so we can get through two more rounds. If there's any modifications you need, please let me know now. Got my phone on, making sure nobody's texted me. No. Nope. All right. So if there's anything you do need, don't be shy. If you're thinking it, somebody else might be thinking it too. All right. So we've got our first one is going to be our step backs with our arm reaches with our weights in our hand. All right. Grab your weights. Let's get going, guys. We got this team. All righty. So shoulders are pulled back. We're going to hinge from the hips, bend in from the knees. Let's get going in three, two, one. Here we go. Reach back, reach back. Maybe you want to come in a little deeper into your squat. Maybe you want to adjust your back a little taller. Gaze might be forward. I'm not going too, too fast because also it's important to make sure we're really safe through the shoulders. Sometimes if we're swinging, it's a lot of torque in the shoulder joint. So I want this to feel really controlled. Good job. Good. 15 seconds left. Reach back. Reach back. Keep going. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. You got it. 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Nice job. Fantastic. Excellent. All right. 10 seconds. We're going to start our next one. Band press outs. Grab your bands when you're ready. All right. Arms outstretched. Shoulder height. Put a little torque, a little pressure into the band. Here we go. Open and close. Open and close. Draw those shoulder blades together. Everything else is nice and stable here. Abs are slightly pulled in. Beautiful. Nice and strong here. I've made my band a little tighter, which certainly can be really challenging. Good, good, nice job. That's it, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two and one nice job Whew, relax fantastic so if you don't have a band and you want to still work the posterior side for the next round feel free to maybe grab some dumbbells and go into a bent over fly it's also going to work the back of the body okay so that's another alternative all right let's get going we've got our three way three way lunges <laughs> all right so we're going to start with a front lunge side lunge back lunge back to front. If there's one that calls on you more and doesn't feel good, make sure to adjust. All right, let's get going. Three, two, one, front lunge, back through center, side lunge, back through center, reverse lunge, back through center. Keep going. Now seize the day. Maybe you want to take this a little faster. Maybe you need to take this a little slower. You know what? We need to add a weight. And I didn't grab one. My bad. <laughs> this feels different. <laughs> All right. Good job. Seizing that moment. I <laughs> could have done it without the weight. Good. Keep going. Good. We've got about 10 seconds left here. We're almost there. Fantastic. Five, four, three, two, and one nice job fantastic Woo! all right so if you got through half that round without a weight let's go ahead and make sure we got our weight for the first for the whole round this next round all right other side left leg start with your front leg front lunge three two 
One, here we go. Good. Definitely working with a bit of a different space factor here. Good, hopefully you've got enough space around you. Keep going. Take your time. A little bit of balance on these as well. Always good to work that. 10 seconds left. Good, keep going. That's it, three, two, and one. Woo, nice job, fantastic, excellent. All right, from here we've got our bicep and hammer curls. We're going to be alternating between the two and then we got our triceps maybe you want to go in a little different weight for this round i'm going to switch mine up just a little so starting with our bicep curls arms are externally rotated feet are hip distance apart three two one here we go good now make sure when you're extending the arm you're going down, leaving a little bend so you're not snapping through the elbows. Nice, good job. Alternate at your own perfect pace. Good, we got about eight seconds left. Good. Last four, three, two, and one. Excellent job, well done. Beautiful, so the next one we're gonna take is into a tricep kickback. Maybe you wanna add a different weight for this one, maybe you wanna keep what you got. All right, here we go. Hinge from the hips, bend in from the knees, tuck the elbows in. Three, two, one, kick it back. Beautiful. Nice and long. Reach, engage those triceps. Good, 30 seconds to go. Maybe go down a little deeper into that squat. Get a little extra lower body in there. Seize this opportunity. Fantastic. 15 seconds. You got it. 10, 9, 8, 7, that's it. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Woo! Fantastic. Excellent job. Well done. Good. Fantastic, everyone. All right, we got our lower body or lower body. We got our floor work, is what I meant to say, next. So we're going to start off with those single leg bridges for a minute. So again, if you're not doing single leg bridges, you might be doing double leg. That's A-OK. -okay. Make sure you modify and West way work for, make it work the best for you. Now we're going to come down all the way down to the floor. Feet are hip distance apart. Woo. So we always want to engage really through the glutes as we're lifting. Make sure you got some good energy through the heels. So just make sure you make any modifications so that you're nice and supported. Also, weight rests into the shoulders, not the throat. So here we go. We're going to start with our right leg up. All the work is going to be nice and into the glutes of the left. Half, 30 seconds and 30 seconds. Here we go. Three, two, one. Here we go. We're coming halfway down, all the way up. Now here we might be inclined to kind of pop that right hip up a little higher. Try not to. Try to keep this nice and even. Good. Good. 15 seconds left. Keep it going. Now we're not going to let our sacrum rest. We're going to just switch sides. Good. So if you're doing both legs, halfway up, halfway down. Good. All right. Three, two, one. One, bring your right foot down, set it in place, extend your left, and keep going. Good job. 30 seconds. Energize through the heel. Press through that right heel to lift you up. Keep those glutes engaged as you're raising and lowering. Nice job. Good. Find that fluidity in the breathing. Good. We've got about eight seconds left. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, and one, set your sacrum down, bend your left knee, set your foot down to the floor. Excellent job, well done. Whew. 
All right, take your hands behind your head. We're going to go into our chest lifts, then our chest lifts with rotations. 45, 45. Open up wide through the chest, elbows wide. Open up your heart. Inhale, lift. Exhale. Here we go. Let's bring this into a little bit more fluidity here, a little more tempo. Make sure you're not working through the neck. Make sure you're working through the core. You've got it. Keep going. Beautiful. That's it, team. We got this. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. You are there. 4, 3, 2, 1, and rest. Be proud of yourself. Well done. All right. Take a little recovery here. Next, we're going to go into our chest with the rotations. Again, you have the option to keep your feet down the floor. You have the options to bring your legs up to 90 degrees. You have the options to move the legs in bicycle if that's what you so choose. First round, I did it with my feet down. Next round, I'm going to take it up to 90 degrees. Here we go. Lift and rotate. Back through center. Rotate. This, this minor modification just changes a little bit of the experience, the sensation. Good. Big rotations, chest to thigh. You've got it. Fantastic. Beautiful. Almost there. Come on, come on. You are there in five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! Well done, everyone. Fantastic. Excellent. Ha! Nice job. All right. So, are you ready for side planks? <laughs> I hear you all say, yes, I can't wait. All right, let's get ready for our side planks. We're going to do whatever version you want. Now, again, I got to encourage you to make sure that you're doing this in, in a way that feels good for your body. Don't force yourself in a shape that doesn't work, okay? Especially on your shoulders whenever we're working in that space. So let's get ready. Make sure you're comfortable. Knees either down on the floor. Legs are either extended. Here we go, 30 seconds. Let's do it. Find a place to focus on. Keep your hips lifted. Don't let them drop. Pull up. Open up your heart. Breathe. If you're doing a supported side plank, maybe you want to play around with lifting your leg. It's up to you. Good. We've got eight. That's it. Beautiful. Well done, Susan. Five, four, three, two, one, set your arm down. We're going to switch over right over to that other side. Here we go. Three, two, one. Open your heart. Extend your legs. Stack your legs if you want to. Bring those inner thighs together. Open up. So straining your neck to gaze up towards the sky might not be the best option for you. And for me, it feels really a little too intense, I find it more comfortable to look gaze forward or to look down. So whatever option works for you, just make sure you do that one. You don't have to look up to the sky. Three, two, one, step back down. Nice job, fantastic. All right, set yourself onto your heels. We're going into our swimmers next. Doing a little posterior strength work here. All right, you ready? Let's do it. Lie down, arms are extended if that feels okay for you. Or they're at your sides. Make sure glutes and abs are turned on. This time we're going right into it here. Three, two, one, here we go. Lift, start to alternate. Kick those hands, kick those feet. Gaze is down towards the floor. Energize fingertips to glute, fingertips to toes. Keep going. Breathe, lift, lift, lift. And that's it. Beautiful. 12 seconds left. Stay with me. You've got it. Swim it out. Swim it out. Excellent. Seven, 
six, five, four, three, two, and one. Whoo! Rest. Beautiful. Take your hands. Press yourself onto your heels. Give your back a little stretch. Great. All right. You know what's coming. Shift your weight forward. Bring your hands forward of your shoulders. Spread your hands. Curl your toes under. Find your downward dog. Here we go. Walk your hands towards your feet. Bend your knees. Roll yourself up. Squeeze the glutes and the hamstrings. Roll yourself up. Stack your spine all the way to standing. All right. Exhale. Roll down. Bend your knees. Walk your hands out. Find your plank. Hold your plank. Three, two, one. Walk it back towards your feet. Bend your knees. Start to roll up vertebrae by vertebrae. Squeeze through the glutes and the hamstrings all the way to standing. Roll down, bend into the knees. Walk your hands out. Hold. Three, two, one. Back. Walk your hands towards your feet. Roll up. Three more. Good. Come on. We got this. Roll down. Walk it out. Beautiful. Hold your plank. Three, two, one. Two more. Come on. Press your feet. Roll your spine. All the way up, tall, tall, tall. Roll down. Come on. Find your plank. Hold me. Hold. <laughs> Don't hold me. Three, two, one. You can hold me if you want, but <laughs> hold it with me is what I wanted to say. Roll down. Roll up. Oh, my speech is really off today. All right, last one, guys. Here we go. Find your plank. Three. Two, one, walk it back. All the way. Oh, and you did it. Nice job. Beautiful. All right, set number three. We're going to take a 30 second recovery. Grab some water, make any adjustments. Make sure you've got your weights near you. Make sure you have everything that you need. If you need any adjustments, you know to ask. And we're going to plow through this next last round, last one for the day, okay? All right. Good. Whew. All right, team. So this is going to be that last one. This is the, the last one for the day. We know exactly what we're going to be doing, so we're going to really flow through this one after the other, a little short break, transition time, and then we're going to finish up. So make sure you take the opportunity to make any adjustments that you see fit. Grab that extra pound of weight if you've got it or take it down a notch. If you're like, ah, I did too much on that last round, maybe I need to take it down, okay? This is for you. Do it in the best way that feels best for your body today. All right, let's go ahead and grab our weights. We're gonna do our step ups, alternating sides, shoulders are back, body is nice and long, hinge from the hips, bend from the knees, three, two, one, here we go. Now maybe here, We've got that nice rhythm. We know what we're expecting. Maybe we can take it up. Maybe pick up that tempo again if it feels good. That's it. Keep it going. Excellent. You got it. Ten more seconds left. We're almost there. Beautiful. Five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! Nice job. Excellent. Well done. Whew. All right, set your weights down. Grab your strap. Now remember, if you're not using your strap, maybe you want to do a reverse fly. You're working the back chain of the body, traps, and the rhomboids. Grab your band if you've got one. A little bit of tension in that strap. Three, two, one. One, let's go. That's it. Beautiful. Great. So if you're in that bent over position, keep those core muscles nice and engaged. Don't want to let them allow the low back to arch there. That looks great, Kathy. Fantastic. Breathe in, breathe out. Beautiful. 15 seconds. 10, 9, eight, seven, 
six, five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! Great job. Set those weights off to the side. All right, so we're going to go next into our three-way lunges. Going to grab your weights. I'm going to go up a little bit more on the resistance on this one because it's our last round. And just give it a go. <clears throat> All right. Maybe for you, we're not necessarily adding weight, but maybe you're seeing about going in a little deeper into that lunge or maybe just breathing more efficiently. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Let's start. Right foot to the side. Good. Reverse to the back. Beautiful. Nice and tall through the upper body. Use the legs to really bring yourself back to center. Nice and tall. You got it. Ten seconds left. Just notice how this feels different than the first round you did. Five, four, three, two, and one. Whoo! Nice job. Hopefully you have a little, a little more feeling of a little different than the first round we did. A little more stability. All right, left leg comes forward. Three, two, one. Let's do it. Back and back. Nice job. Reverse lunge. Front lunge. Side lunge. Take your time on each of these. They each have their own different set of qualities. I want to honor each one. Beautiful. 15 seconds. You got it. We're almost there. Great. Last seven. Good. I think I messed that up. That's okay. Three, two, and one. Nice job. I went back to a side lunge. There you go. Excellent job. Grab some water, everyone. We got our hammer curl and bicep curls next. Then tri tri triceps. Alrighty. Beautiful. Alrighty. Let's do this. Biceps to hammer. Grab your weights. All right, we're almost there. So we, we see the finish line, right? You've got to believe you've got this. So just stay with it. We're almost on the we're on the home stretch. Open up. Three, two, one. Here we go. And adjust. Beautiful. Good. Find that nice control. Lift and lower. Adjust the rotation. Adjust the position of the hands. That's it. You've got it. Well done. Good. 15 seconds. Last 10. Beautiful. Five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! Well done. That was great. Fantastic. Now we're going to work the other side. We're going to work the triceps bent over position. We have our single leg bridges, then our core, and we are done. So we are really almost there. So let's go ahead, find our hinge position. Bent over, feet are hip distance apart, elbows tuck in, back is long, three, two, one, here we go. Last set, chest is wide, you got it. So if your arms are starting to get tired here, two things, you could slow the pace down, you can also do single alternating arms, you get a little break with one arm and then the other, it's always an option. For any upper body, or for most. Good. Almost there. About 15 seconds left. Stay with me. We're there. Eight. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Woo! Nice job. Excellent. 
All right, so we've got single leg bridges, crunches, crunches with rotations, uh, our side planks, and then our swimmers, and then our inchworms, and we're done. I know it sounds like a lot, but it's going to go really quickly. <laughs> Let's make our way down to the floor. Here we go. All right, so you know what you got to do. Get yourself down. Hands rest at the side. Energize through your right leg up towards the sky. You're going to press into that left. Heel reaches. Three, two, one. Press halfway down and all the way up. Inhale to lower. Exhale to lift. Good. 15 seconds. Now we're going to transition, so we're not going to lose a beat here. You know, bring that right foot down, then go ahead and do the left. All right, in three, two, one, go ahead, set your foot down, lift your opposite leg, and keep flowing. 30 seconds. Press it to the heel, lift that hip. Nice work. 15 seconds, you're almost there. Good. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Set yourself down. Let your feet rest down on the floor. Woo! Well done. Excellent. All right. Next, we've got our core work. Hands behind the head. Go ahead and rest and interlace the fingers so your chest is open. Elbows are out to the side. Inhale to lengthen the back of the neck. Exhale, here we go. Inhale, lower. So when you're coming up into your crunches, your head follows the rest of your spine. You're not tucking your chin under. Your core is actually just facilitating this forward motion for this flexion. Truly, everything else just stays where it's supposed to. Keep going. So if you feel like you're tugging through your neck, just try to let the head feel a little softer in your hands. That's it, keep going. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Rest. Woo! Fantastic. Now, first round for our chest lifts and rotations, we kept the feet down. Second round, we lifted the knees up. Third, we're going to bring the legs into it. Again, you can choose whatever version works best. Go ahead and find your place. Here we go in three, two, one. Let's start. Keep going. Keep breathing. It's truly one of the most important aspects. Breath just facilitates movement, creates energy. Just keep it nice and fluid. Lift your chin, rotate chest up, knee. That's it, you've got it. 15, you're almost there. Beautiful, five, four, three, two, and one, whoo, set your feet down, nice job. All right, well done. We've got 30, 30, 30 of the side planks on one side, 30 on the other, swimmers, inchworms, we're done. We're really almost there. All right, let's go ahead, find our space. Hands resting underneath the shoulder. Energize in your hand into the floor. Go ahead, extend your legs, open up your heart. Three. Two, one, here we go. Squeeze your inner thighs together, keep your hips lifted, open up through the chest. Gaze can be down, gaze can be forward. 20 seconds left. Good, 10 seconds left. If you can count out loud, count with me. You can count inside to yourself, count to yourself. Five, four, three, Two, one, and set your hand down. We're gonna move right over to that other side. Get there. 
If you need to put your back to me, don't worry about it. Hands rest underneath the elbow and shoulder. Extend the opposite arm up. Three, two, one. Here we go. Breathe. You got it. Keep going. Nice and strong. You got this. All right, 15 seconds left. You're almost there. All right, either count to yourself or count out loud. Five, four, three, two, one. Set it down. Nice job. Beautiful. Fantastic. All right, we've got 30 seconds of swimmers left, some inchworms, and then we're done for the day. So we really have less than a minute, uh, less than a minute and a half to go. All right, so let's make our way onto our tummy. Let's get right into our swimmers, strengthening the posterior side of the body. You got this far? Can you do the rest? Yeah. <laughs> let's do it, guys. Here we go. Stand the arms. Send the legs. Glutes, abs turned on. Three, two, one. Lift and start to flutter your hands and feet. Now, if you don't feel good with the legs lifted or doesn't feel good with the arms lifted, you can do one side more than, like you could do the legs only and the, or the arms only. You decide. Keep going. Excellent, you're almost there. 11, 10, Five, come on, four, three, two, one. Oh, rest down. Ooh. Very humbling. Okay, you ready? Let's do this. Press your hands to the side. Press back onto your heels. Okay. Bring yourself to tabletop. Hands are forward of the shoulders. Curl the toes under. Find your downward dog. All right, we're doing six inch ones. Here we go. Walk your hands to your feet. Roll up. Make sure you press to the feet. Stand up. Exhale, bend the knees, roll down. Walk it out. One. Walk it back. I forgot to do the hold. We're going to do the hold on the next round. Make your way down. Find your plank. Hold for three, two, one, let's do it again. Good job. Number three, come on, roll down. Hold, three, two, one, here we go. Keep going. You're looking for something more. Go faster if you want a little bit more intensity. Hold, three, two, one, two more, come on. All the way up. This is our last two inch worms. Come on, team. I want to hear you cheerleading yourself here. Three, two, one. Last inch form. Come on. We got this far. We're going to get right through that finish line. Here we go. Hold with me. Three, two, one. Walk it back. All the way to standing. Whew. Well done. We did it. Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> we are there. We did it. We did it. We did it. I'm so proud of us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. We're going to take the next two minutes to stretch it out. By no means is this enough of a stretch. If you've got extra time on your, in your schedule today, stay a little extra to do a little more. Let's go ahead. Give your right hand to your right foot. Give your quad a little stretch. Feel proud of yourself, guys, because we showed up 99% of the challenge. We did it, we conquered it, and we're good for hopefully the rest of the day. All right, set your right foot down, go ahead and grab your left foot. Hope you're feeling really proud of yourself. We did a lot today. All right, set your left foot down, go ahead and kickstand your right foot forward, bend into your left knee, hinge forward, kick your bum out, toes up to the sky. Give those hamstrings a nice little stretch. Press into that left foot, lengthen the body, switch sides, left foot forward, bend into the right knee, let your hands rest at your right thigh, back is long, abs, 
are pulled in, shoulders are pulled back. Excellent job, press in two, the right foot, set it out, shake it off. Go ahead, swim your arms all the way up. Take your right hand down, left arm reaches and rainbows the crown, opening up the side body. So you don't wanna tip the body over, you wanna keep both feet nice and planted. You also wanna have a nice long spine so it's nice and spacious. On the next inhale, take the left arm down, reach the right arm up, exhale over to the left, rainbow the crown. Nice job, come back through center. Beautiful, go ahead and swim the hands behind you, interlace the fingers, open the shoulders down and back, open up the chest, draw the hands away from your body if it's available, otherwise set your hands at your hip. Gaze is forward. Nice job, relax the arms, shake it out. Well done, let's roll the shoulder blades back and down. Let's loosen up through the upper body. Do the shoulder girdle. Great, take your shoulders, roll them forward. Beautiful, all right, go ahead, set your hands to the side. Just shake out the body, right to left, left to right, let your arms swing out. It's kind of moving through the spine here. Good. Set yourself back through center. When you're ready, just slowly make that swinging come back in towards center. And great. Let's go ahead and take a nice big inhale and exhale. The biggest inhale you've taken for the day. Go ahead, swim your arms all the way up on the inhale. Press the palms together. Exhale to your heart center. And give yourself a round of applause. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for showing up today. Remember, that is 99% of the challenge, and you did it. Have a wonderful remainder of the day. I hope to see you again. Love to you all. Bye.